Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do that than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. Joining us this morning, we've got Sarah Caper from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation's Ag in the Classroom program. Sarah, we've got uh, an extravagant setup here, don't we? <laughs> yes, we're going to talk about an egg's extra extraordinary strength. Hey, that's, that's so you, uh, this could be all about puns today, isn't it? I, I think so. Something. You just go with yeah, it. Okay. You just go with it. So do you think about eggs being strong? Honestly, uh, in some ways, yes. I okay. mean, sometimes it's really hard to crack the shells, but my parents yeah. have the dicky chicks and oh, usually we know, yes. oh, the, if the shells are a little weaker, they need some extra calcium. And so I'm a little ah, more familiar with that. Yeah, you're a little familiar yeah, yeah, yeah. with that. So you know that if you tap the shell on the side of a bowl or a table, it's going to crack. Yeah. But did you know that eggs are super strength in that certain pressures on an egg will not crack the egg. Really? So think about this. When a, when a hen is sitting on its egg, uh, does it crack? No, that's true. No, it, it can't. So eggs have, and you'll see it in the graphic here, have really strong um, composite. They are not just made up of calcium, but it's the way that they're structured. Did you know that the arch is one of the, the most strong man-made structures because the arch distributes the weight. There are two ways that you can put pressure on an egg and it will not break. So I'm going to give you one. I want to give me one. Now you know we're on TV, so you know if it's going to break, it's probably going to do it on TV. It's but if correct. you squeeze on your egg, thumb and finger, straight down as hard as you can, it will not break because the pressure is being equally distributed, Interesting. distributed top to bottom. That makes sense right? you don't crack it. You don't right. crack it top down, you crack it yeah. side to side when you Yeah, and we it. aren't as strong when we do it with our fingers, oh, right? I got like my suit. But, <laughs> but that, that, is, that shows us an egg strength. The other strength that I want you to notice is when you take an egg, remember equal strength, top and bottom. If you take an egg and you put it in your hand, now it has to be a hand that doesn't have a ring on it. Uh, better do there you one, go. Egg. That makes sense. And you put equal pressure around the sides of the egg and you squeeze it. Let's do it over the bowl yeah. just okay. in case. I've had some junior your high boys get really oh I'm sure but if you squeeze really hard that egg does not break I'm squeezing really hard now I don't know if you're just showing off or not I'm, but I mean I'm making, squeezing a little hard there. yeah I'm a little hesitant to go full out yeah because it'll go all over your sleeves uh, and you still have TV to do but um, if you squeeze it in that way and that's a great test with grandma and grandpa or mom and dad just trick them a little bit but no because that that pressure is equally um, distributed it, they will not break so they <laughs> You toss it, it will break. Yeah, here, you know, here catch it. You ready? It's right. not equally. The, oh, you really did. Okay. <laughs> All right. We've got five and more where that came from. We, yes, we do. Um, we have some great she resources at the at the Farm Bureau for Ag in the Classroom. We have some um, chick hatching cycles right here. Oh, fun. This is um, neat to look at. Yeah, get a closer days, look at this here. If you can see that, 21 days of um, the development. This, is, this one here is what most of us see when we crack the egg yeah. for food. But as you go down the lifespan there, then yeah. get more and more, yeah. develop the chick. And then this is my favorite one right here. You can see all the, I opened this, it actually spooked me a little bit. I didn't it, expect it, it. Did it scare you a little bit? There yeah. it is. There's, There's the, the chick inside. So we that, have those right? available, or I can give you re information on where to get a set like That's that. That's really cool. And then this you've got this This is the here. world's largest big egg. I love taking this into classrooms, and it's an ostrich egg. Oh. So yeah, they, and it sounds like um, ceramic. Doesn't it? Is that an actual yeah, ostrich? That's an actual egg, yes. Really? And it's it looks like a dinosaur egg, doesn't it? I know, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Do you know how they get emu egg is, by chance? I do not, they but I that? would say it's pretty similar. A couple of those the the insides are the same as a dozen chicken yeah, eggs, I wonder if actually. there's a couple of emu eggs maybe hiding in Vermilion County yeah. we don't know about, but that'll be between <laughs> us, right? All right, uh, you have any books or recommendations, things like that, on your website oh, coming to? all too? of that. Yeah. All of that, Fantastic. yes. Fantastic. Well, yep. we're going to connect you with uh, Sarah and the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation's Ag in a Classroom program, or you can find your local coordinator uh, in Central Illinois. Just head on over to our website, WCIA.com.